as historical capital of Europe, Athens is where the Western civilization started. And this city is a paradise for you if history is your favorite subject. So in this video, I'm going to walk around and share with you the best things to do and see in the city of Athens. Stay tuned and let's explore as much as we can walking around these Asian sites and also spontaneously run into the locals, you know, to interview them for them to share with us the beauty of their city and life over here. This is the first time that I come to an hostel that I don't, I don't feel safe. I have to hold on to all my things and be very, very vigilant. And that is what even uh, a Madagascan guy that is even uh, in the hostel told me he have lost his, uh, his phone or cameras. And also, just yesterday, as I just came in, uh, there is uh, a Polish guy that just lost his telephone. And he said he had been living in the country for two years and uh, he has lost his, uh, his phone, his passport two times, even in the restaurant. So if you are coming to this country, especially this city, it's a very busy place, you know, it's a touristic place. So you have to be very careful. If not, huh, they will steal your belongings. So it's a very rampant issue here. Yeah? And whenever he, he said, like the Polish guy, he said he even went to the, you know, uh, to the police, but they said they can't do anything. He hacks even the workers of the restaurant, they said they can't do anything. And now he's even, he's in my present, he's talking to the receptionist in the hostel, and she said she can't do anything. That is the only word you will hear. So uh, you have to be careful pay very close attention to your belongings and everything you do if you don't want to learn the lesson in a, in a very hard way. So that is what I can say uh, concerning this issue. Hello. So I'm going to really take my time to share my experience. Uh, it's too early for me to share what I, I went through my experience here in the country from my own perspective. So that video is coming. What it's like life here, my experience traveling around the country. It will be a full package. It seems like I'm in, in the main commercial street of the city. Ermo. Ermo, something like that, I guess. A lot of shops, restaurants, hotels, bars. I guess it is the main, main street for business. The main commercial streets, maybe. So we are in front of the parliament here. Let me ask for information. You can take this, take you around the, all the most attractive places for 20 euro, I guess. That is what the local tell me. Let me see if it's true. Hello, excuse me. This one is going to all the most attractive places in the city. It goes to many important sites of the city, yes. Okay, how much for... It's 5 euros per person, all day ticket. All day ticket? Yes. 5 euros? 
So we go to the Parliament, main museums and embassies, mm. uh, Zabion Hall, Panathinaik Stadium, Temple of Zeus. We make a stop there if you want to walk to Plaka Acropolis, it's the closest we can leave you. Okay. Then we continue, we see Catholic Cathedral, Academy of Athens, University, National Library, Palace of the Old Parliament and we come back here. So those are the best things to see in the city, I guess. Sorry? These are the most important things to see in the city? Yeah, city center. So for how many hours it takes? It's a 40 minute tour and uh, you can use the ticket for the whole day. Oh, you can still use it for the whole day. Okay. Prepare, you so it's better I got a ticket so I can go around. Your card or cash? A uh, cash. Keep the receipt, it's your ticket and it's valid for the whole day. All day, Please. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Just to let you know. You can sit wherever you want. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are going like this so yeah, because I'm making video also, so it's better I stay this. Hey, it's better I stay this way. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah. So we will make a stop in the Temple of Zeus. I will let you know from the microphone. Mm. From there you can walk to the Acropolis, you can also walk to Plaka, okay. which is the oldest district in Athens, it's the neighborhood around the Acropolis. Okay. And from where we will leave you, it's five minutes. Five food. minutes, okay. And you can get back on with the same ticket every 30 minutes, every until 8.30 30 at night. 8.30 at night. And then there will be one at 9.30 and the last one at 10.30. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This is the first time I'm going to take you for a ride and not to explore by foot as I always do. side of the city as the tour guide have already said so it takes 40 minutes then I can still use the ticket for the whole day until 11 p.m. I guess until 11 p.m. Yes. on our right is the Russian church of the Holy Church of the Holy Trinity. National 
garden. Yes. This is the national garden. Here you can also go and hang out. Also to take the tours, it's nice. We have seen uh, the Holy Trinity Church, small church, and uh, the National Garden, and now there's the Parliament of Greece, and some embassy. Here. This is the embassy of uh, embassy of Egypt. Embassy of France. Let's go. I get more time, less stress, and I hope you guys are enjoying the, the ride with me as well. First time I'm trying it. French Embassy, Embassy of France, part of the Parliament. Embassy of Italy, so then embassy there. Yeah. On our left is the night. One of the oldest buildings in the land. The night is the night. It used to be the town before the peace when there were only the night. And got turned into the night.
This is Brazil. Brazilian Embassy. Luxembourg. Portugal. I think it's Portugal. Yeah. Portugal. <coughs> Neko Stadium in this direction. So low that sometimes. On our right is the Conservatory of Athens, the oldest musical theatre institution since 1871.
site is a Zambian hall. Mention Conference Center that was built in 1880 for the first modern Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. On our left is a temple of the Olympian Zeus, the biggest temple of ancient Greece. It used to have 104 columns, but only 15 of those are still standing today. The monument we'll see on the right represents Greece, crowning the greatest philatelic poet, Lord Byron. On our left is the statue of the Emperor Alexander the Great. Here we make a stop in case you want to go to Plaka, Acropolis or the Acropolis Museum. Plaka is a 5 minute walk from here and Acropolis is a 7 minute walk. You can get back home with the same ticket from here every 30 minutes. If I want to take the train, where can, I can come here? Come back here every 30 okay. minutes. Every 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So, hey. We have experienced a first time taking a seat. This, this is my first time taking a, a city sighting tour, you know. And it is nice, but only that uh, I cannot be able to hear a voice so clearly from what she's sharing to us, the history of the places we have just passed. But I hope you can get it because I'm not hearing it clearly. And I'm going to walk you down to Plaka and Acropolis. As usual, so many tourists. of the archaeological site of Olympia. Yes. See, the entrance is where we came from in the other way. history of ancient history Look that we are coming from and I'm seeing a place over there that we kind of want to go and explore yeah that is at the, the Acropolis I think is over there and he was yelling at that like We are vlogging ourselves. Where are you from? Uh, yeah, I'm from Brazil. Brazil? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brasileiro. <laughs> okay. France? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Nigeria, but I live in France. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Acropolis? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's here? Yeah. Yes, okay. Thank you. Bye <laughs> bye. Uh, Brazilians around to Brazilian guy and his family.
Acropolis. There's shops here. I don't really know. I should go this way, but let, let me ask this young girl over there. Let she explain more. Of course, there if she has some time to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is uh, Acropolis. Is this way? It's at the corner left. Okay, the corner left. Uh, where is this? Adrian Nunes. Adrian Nunes. Uh, okay. Placa is not here. It's here. Okay, this is the placa. This plaque. is old placa. But oh, this is old placa. Okay. Mm -hmm. A place for outing, nightlife, everything is here. Yeah, it's tourist. It's buying the other side. Okay, thank you. She says this way. Okay, this is the Acropolis. Man. Yeah, this is also the best place for nightlife. Where you can come and hang out. So we are in the Plaka, the district called Plaka, Plaka area. If you are coming through this way, it's difficult for you to get the ticket. I think you couldn't get the ticket here. If you are coming this way, you cannot get the ticket. The ticket is in the main entrance. That is where you can get the ticket. Yeah. The good bars, the good restaurants are in this place. The good bars, the good restaurants. And it's very, very big. How they build all these places back then? Something to, to think about. So this is the Acropolis. It is one of the most important thing in the country, if not even the very best in the country. And places like this, the best way to view it is with a drone. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to get permission to be able to fly, to share these places with you. Those places like this, the best is with a drone. Look at it. It will be better to fly with the drone by people out there. If it's possible to go up from here, there is uh, there are residences, there are houses, people living here, so you cannot just trespass as you want. You have to be careful. Excuse me. It's possible to pass here to the Acropolis. To Acropolis. I think here. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So you have to be careful because. Uh, it is a neighborhood and people are living here. Respect the place. Because all these are houses of people, resident. Oh, you can see the whole of the city from here. You got it. Wow. 
Somebody is playing music, eh? I don't want people to feel me discovering with his face. The whole that is playing the guitar is covering his face. I don't want people that is filming to film me. Oh, it gives you a great view of the whole of the city. Wow. Oh. You can take great picture from up of the Acropolis. Even where I am already, you can still take some great picture of the city. It's nice. Yeah. I'm just walking around it because <laughs> I didn't know that I supposed to go through the other way, uh, the main entrance. So that means if I'm taking this sightseeing, I cannot uh, buy the ticket. I cannot go inside. So, hey, I think I'm going down now. And the good thing is, after exploring, this busy and history filled city. Then you can also come and wander around quietly, easily, and the most attractive neighborhood streets in the city. And they are filled with restaurants, a lot of restaurants, cool restaurants for hangouts, and you can get some souvenirs also. I think we are close to one of the entrance of the Acropolis. I don't know if we can get the ticket there. Let's see how much it costs to go inside to visit the Acropolis. So many people waiting to get their ticket. There's so much people waiting to get the ticket. And I guess I cannot wait for that. And the line is very slow and it's hot very hot in here so this is it if you're interested to go inside to see how it really looks like i guess it would be interesting to really go inside uh, but the line is too much and uh, so the line is too much and it's hot so i'm going i'm just going to walk around it and share as much I can share with you. After walking around the Acropolis, which is here, then you can also come and take an afternoon walk around the Acropolis Museum. It has thousands of artifacts that we have discovered in the landmark archaeological site inside this place. The vicinity of the Acropolis is a cool place to hang out.
The son is dealing with me so strongly. And this makes me to remember when I see some people talking about uh, why they are talking about this melanin of something, of skin, of people. Uh, Sometimes I started laughing because uh, those are the people who don't believe in God. People that is living here in Greece, like these other countries, even in Europe, why they are not black like me? They say it's because of hundreds of thousands of years, because we are living in Africa, because there is the, uh, the sun is so strong there. Hello. <laughs> so it is all, those are people who don't really believe in God. God created me black and he created white people white. It is a reason. There is no need for stain. It is not about uh, thousands of years uh, uh, staying under the sun for a long time. That is what makes us to be black. And people. Okay, what about this uh, Greece? The weather here in Greece is as hot, if not even hotter than that of in, in my country, Nigeria. So it is all <laughs> lies. God created us differently and there is a reason for that. So the, the sun is so hot. Why people are here that are living here for thousands of years are not black. <laughs> so this makes me to remember that it is all ideologies, fake ideologies. It's another way towards the entrance of the Acropolis. Acropolis. It's all fake fake ideologies. Wisdom or all wisdom of man, not the wisdom of God. What are people here? Yeah, the Greeks have been living here for thousands of years. Why these people color does not change? Like to become as a black person. So it is a lie. God created us horse purpose and nothing can change it. Nothing can change it. It is normal. That is how it is. Nothing can change it. For example, someone like me, I can go and have some treatment or some cream to be make me to be more uh, brighter. But I was like sharing some important thing because when I came in here and some countries in Europe, if you are, I think you're a great traveler as well. Some, con <laughs> uh -huh. some countries are very, very hot. Yeah. Like even more than Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. when you read about history or some so-called historians, mm -hmm. they will say the transformation of human is because we Africans were in Africa because of the sun. Yeah, yes. Uh, but it is not true. No. These people are here for here for say well, all their life they have been here and uh, people. Okay, for example, the North Africans that is in, in the yeah. North African uh, states. They are never like us. So they are saying it's the melanin stuff. They, yeah. That is all the wisdom of man. They are, it's man just trying to deceive himself. Well done, well done. Yeah, man definitely. is trying to de deceive himself. So uh, God created me like this well and done. he created them their way. Yeah. And there is no way, there is no, nothing change it. Yeah. No sun, no transformation, no transfiguration, you can say. <laughs> All are just brainwash education. Well done, yeah. well done. So it is a brainwash education. Yeah, it's even odd, odd more than uh, uh, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. So what, what are you saying? It is a brainwash education. So I see elderly people are saying that, uh, it's even elderly men are saying that uh, because Africans in Africa, because of the sun, that is why they are black. It's a lie. Yes. So when I see an elderly people say that it's like a, I'm like kind of laughing. It okay. comes from an el well. It is not his okay. fault because it is information that mm. I, that mm -hmm. I yeah. been feed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is for you, and your the younger generation, the generations coming after us to know who you really are. Okay. Where well, you originally from, France? France? Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh. Nigeria. So thank you very much. Anyways, good I really life. appreciate it. Nice. Enjoy your vacation. Thank you. Yeah, you should have water to drink. It's yes. so hard. Are you going I to forget go I forget to take the, the water, so if but not no, I will just a vending, vending machine. machine, but then it has to be a cash. A cash? Yeah. I think I have cash with uh, me. Or if you have a bottle you can refill it. There is a tab. Uh, but you have you to go up high. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.
I'll, I will come back quickly. I will just go and show them a little bit because the line is too much and I wanted to go yeah. inside, but uh, there's so many people and again, the sun is up here. I said, yeah. okay, let me just show them, walk them around how it, little, uh, it looks like a little bit and share what is on my mind along the way. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Good Thank luck. you. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 so I met some Ethiopian family and uh, they are also exploring the country and they are right here in Athens exploring the Acropolis so this is what I see uh, my own research my own understanding and uh, what I've observed since I've been traveling around the world so I had a elderly man the last person that told me Sochitin was uh, an elderly French man I think he would be like almost in his 50s or more than 50s. And he told me, you guys are black because of the sun and melanin. Forget about all these uh, uh, words. It is not true. Nobody can change it. The only thing I can find a cream, nowadays we have cream, and can change me if I want to be like, okay. For example, I'm just giving an example, like Michael Jackson, that changed himself. Because I don't know, I don't know about his history, but he can be, we can be there. And also, when they are under the sun for a very long, long, long time, the highest they can do is to be a little bit bone, a little bit, little bit brown, that's all. You cannot be able to transform, they cannot be able to transform and to be like a real black man. Or, yes, they cannot try it. They cannot be able to transform to be a, like a real black man. So it is all uh, fake history fake informations, fake teachings. So this is the vicinity of the Acropolis. A lot of people. I don't even know where to go because it's very big. There are office there, elevator for disabled persons, baggage stall. A lot of things, you know. Imagine if you hop there, it is even more hot. It is slippery, you have to be careful. In the evening, it will be interesting. And the sunset will kind of be very beautiful. Very careful because when you are here, it's very slippery. This is the city of Hattons, and we are right here in Acropolis. The site is just behind me. A -A. Yeah. So many things to see and do. You have to be careful.
Whoa. I hope you guys enjoy the journey. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye bye.